we find out the really clear in terms of safety issue and uh, uh, road safety. It's very important that car or vehicles uh, see each other. Not actually, not only uh, the uh, drivers uh, see what's going on around themselves, but also the vehicles uh, in themselves should be should also be smart. Should see around themselves, see what's going on, what other vehicles are available around them. You want a very very high reliable localization system in place. So the idea came out that we can make an active positioning system. In other words, we allow all vehicles that, bore, uh, that drive in a highway to communicate with each other and know each other and find out their own position. So this is a system that basically works on uh, radio frequency technology, so it just uses the antenna arrays. So it's like a smart antenna, a set of antenna arrays, which receives a specific signal from a particular direction and based on the phase offset between the two determines the, the direction and the time of arrival of a system and it can actually indicate the location of a system. So we make our system that's called wireless local positioning system. It has basically two components, a dynamic base station in one and a transceiver in another one. The dynamic base station is equipped with antenna rays so therefore this antenna array can be used to find the direction of arrival of the target. DVA sends transmit a burst of energy. As soon as the nearby vehicle receives this signal, it responds automatically back to the DBS and say, hey, I'm here. And then from this exchange of the information between DBS and TRS, TRX, DBS finds the time of arrival. As soon as you have the time of arrival, you have the range. As soon as you have range and direction of arrival, you can independently localize the other vehicles in the coverage area. And we actually can use it to determine the location of not one signal, but multiple signals. And this can be done in the field. These vehicles not only can localize themselves, but also can communicate, can transmit data, information, sensing information. And for example, a very actually a vehicle in front in a very uh, huge highway uh, finds out that there is a, an accident. It can communicate all the information very back to other vehicles that are driving so, uh, and, and avoid basically huge accidents in highways. So. It works on cases where radar or the GPS may not work that well. For example, radar on the open seas is fine, but when you have obstacles, for example, and where it's too crowded to actually determine the location of each individual device, suppose there are a couple of ships within a few yards of each other. So it's like it's almost impossible to determine which is which. So imagine in a, a battlefield, each commander is capable of finding the position of its soldiers, then sends this information to a center. And that command and control center not only sees the position of the vehicles, which is the case for today battlefield uh, uh, communication and localization, but also sees all the very important individuals in this battle, which are the soldiers knows where they are, what is their health, what is the situation, and provide this information to, to a center. We so, don't need big dishes, and we don't need moving parts, servo motors to rotate the radar. And again, you, have, you don't need the, uh, the receivers and the, and the cost involved in making the receivers. Uh, in this case, although we have the same system, but since it is, uh, it is a, you can say, a smaller scale of the radar, there we go. and we don't have any moving parts, so your reliability is improved because moving parts can fail. There are lots of applications for our system, uh, starting from road safety, emergency, indoor security, outdoor security, uh, multi-robot collaboration and coordination, multi-UAV collaboration and coordination, uh, central command and control in defense and civilian applications.
and satellite formation and deep space explorations. So it basically benefits in different aspects, the welfare uh, and security and uh, defense of human beings.